Let's look at the song Sheldon's Sonatina from the comic book Nuts About Note Reading. First, we'll look at the notes we play in our left hand in the bass clef. Let's look at the first line of music. We don't have any notes in the first line for our left hand. The bass staff is empty. Let's move to the second line. Nothing yet. Oh, we have one note for our left hand. What note is it? We have G. Just one G so far. Let's go to the next line. Oh, G, G. Two more Gs. We have two more Gs. Wow, looks like finger one is gonna be busy playing Gs. Keep going. G and G. Ooh, look, we have some different notes this time. Let's circle this measure. Well, I'm gonna circle it. You don't have to circle yours unless you have a dry erase marker. We have G and then we're stepping down. So what notes do we have? We've got G, F, E, D. That's the beginning of a C5 finger scale coming down. G, F, E, D. It's just missing the C on the end. Flip over your music or turn the page. And let's check our left hand. G. Wow, so it's almost all G's in our left hand except for that one spot. Now let's look at our right hand, which will be in the treble clef. When I look at the first part of our song, I'm noticing a lot of stepping notes, especially a lot of notes that are stepping down, aren't they? Do you see anywhere in the right hand where we're skipping? I'll give you a clue. It's in the third line. One, two, three. Here are some skips. C, E, G is right out of our five finger warm up. There's an arpeggio right there. Look right below it. The same thing, C, E, G. It's our arpeggio notes. Oops, we missed a skip. E to C, we skipped over D. That's also a skip. Let's flip it over and check the back. Looking for skips. I think we got them all. Remember in our left hand, when we found this uh, C5 finger scale going down, G, F, E, D. Can you find that same pattern of notes, but in the right hand treble staff? Stepping down from G, look for wonder note G followed by steps. G, F, E, D. Let's head to the piano and practice playing Sheldon's Sonatina. All right, I'm here at my piano and I'm going to find finger one of my right hand, middle C. But it says to play two octaves higher than that. So instead of middle C, go up to another C and up one more C. Our left hand says finger one on G. So that's bass G, grandma. Slide it up one more. Slide it up one more. Let's put just our left hand in its position and practice playing our left hand notes. 
Remember, we mostly play what note? G. Play a left hand G. The only different spot is that one that we circled down at the bottom of the page, where we play our down our C5 finger scale, starting on G. But we never make it to C. We play G, F, E, D. Try those notes with me. G, F, E, D. Let's play them piano. G, F, E, D. Now let's practice some of our right hand spots. Make sure your right hand is at this high C. Let's play our arpeggios, our skip. C, E, G. And the one below it is the same. C, E, G. Let's play our downward skip. We go E, C. Again, E, C. And finally, at the end of our page, our very last measure is our downward C5 finger scale, starting at G. G, F, E, D. Now, let's play all of Sheldon's Sonatina with both hands. Our right hand starts on C. If you want to just listen the first time and follow along in your music, you can always go back. You can slow the video down using the gear in the bottom right corner. Here's Sheldon's Sonatina. Ready, set, here I go. Oh. <sighs>